So, ito yung pinaka favorite na new adult series ko ever. All time. As in. tayo sa YA since hindi ko na mahanap yung ibang fantasy books ko. Baka nandun pa siya sa ilalim. Mecca about Princess Diaries. There are, I think, 10 books sa uh, series. And I read this when I was in college. Pinasok yung series when I was in college. Sobrang different niya dun sa movie. As in, first of all, me is blonde. Blonde and blue eyes. And Anne Hathaway is a brunette with brown eyes. And Mia's father is alive and well. I think sa series, uh, favorite ko is the last one. Because the last one, 18 years old na sila because the series started when she was 14. It went on hanggang 18 siya. Tapos, dun sa last book, I remember seeing yung conclusion and... Mmm! Ganda! Sobrang nakakakilig. As in, lalo na sa mga Michael fans. Sobrang you, you love that book. Ito yung Royal Wedding. Hindi ko parang siya nababasa. Depende talaga sa mood ko yung pagbabasa. And then, I have Little Woman. Shout out kay Kira for this. Thank you. We watched this together, the movie. And I read the book. I really like the book. I really love the movie. Now, we'll dive in sa mundo ni Abby Klein. The Sea Breeze series in particular. I started reading Abby Klein's 2014 or 13. Tapos I fell in love. As in, sobra every book niya inaabangan ko. I didn't even collect romance before. As you can see, mostly like sci-fi and fantasy. So, siya lang yung talagang binili ko na book dati. As in, kinolect ko. That time, sobra obsessed talaga ako sa books niya. Ngayon, hindi na siya yung favorite romance writer ko eh. Pero, I love this series kasi this reminds me of One Tree Hill, yung community. So One Tree Hill and then yung love stories. Maganda siya kasi nag-focus sa ibang couple each book. Tapos makikita mo yung progress in the background nung mga nabasa mo na. Tapos sobrang tight-knit nung group nila, yung friendship. And coastal town, so medyo OC feels then the OC feels yung series. Before, yung favorite ko is the fourth book, just for now, si Preston and Amanda. Yeah. So, si Preston yung, alam mo yung nabasa mo siya for the first three books as this playboy. Pagkatapos, um, si Amanda yung super super nice girl. As in, parang baby sister ng lahat. So, sobrang laki ng crush niya kay Preston. Si Preston ayo siyang, hindi siya pinapansin kasi nga sister siya ni, nung best friend Preston. Kaya parang off limits. This was my favorite before. But then, I grew up and matured a bit. A little, maybe. Tapos ang favorite ko na is... Misbehaving. So, you misbehaving about this bad girl na medyo may bad reputation din sa lahat. As in, mababasa mo siya sa mga books before this. Tapos, you'll hate her. As in, you'll be annoyed. Yung guy naman is a super nice guy na preppy and a gentleman. Tapos, hindi taga dun. Parang vacationer lang dun sa town, sa coastal town. Pero she, pero, what's that? Like, he's not looking for anything serious. Tapos, siya naman, yung girl naman, hindi rin siya umaasa na si Jason yung magiging ticket away from that place. Yung may in-love si Jason sa kanya. Pero ayaw ni Jason kasi he's not looking for anything serious nga. Kasi, yun na, yung reputation dyan ni Jesse. And he's focusing on his studies. Basta. 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 missing book dito, pero let's not talk about it because I don't like that book. And ito yung Vincent series niya. So dito naman, this is about cousins na best friends who grew up together. Tapos yung isa, yung sa first book, bida din yung bad boy na laki sa trailer park. Tapos itong pangalawang book naman, dun sa isang guy na golden boy who grew up with a full family and he got everything. He has the perfect life. They got caught in between the girl. I wonder who the girl would pick. Who do you think the girl picked? I didn't like it because I love Triangle at first. But she was able to pull it off. So okay then. I really like this. I didn't expect I would like Sawyer this much. Because Sawyer is the golden boy. Because, of course, the golden boy nice guy. Isipin mo weak or hindi ganun ka kakilig. 
but I really like yung character progress dito. Need I say more? To all the boys I loved before. No, when I saw the first book, I had no idea that it was a trilogy. Because hindi pa lumalabas yung second and third that time. So imagine my surprise when I got to the end. It's so prangpitan. Tapos the book wouldn't come out until the, that next year. It was worth the wait. Because yung sa kanila tatlo, ang favorite ko is the second book. Because nandoon si John Ambrose McLaren. Need na justify si John Ambrose McLaren sa movie. Because nag-focus yung movie ni Peter, and that's just sad. Pero I get it, because Lara Jean ended up with Peter, so it should only be used by si Peter. Because in this series, na to, sobrang jerk is a si jerk si Peter. So, in the movie, they na list all the bad qualities of Peter, and they made a sort of this boy-next-door, perfect boyfriend type. That's why everybody loves him in the movie. But if you read it, he's in it. As in. As in. So, you don't even blame the people who na in love kay John Ambrose sa second book kasi sobrang dream niya. Total, total dream. Ewan ko, so sobrang charming lang talaga ni John Ambrose McLaren and sobrang thoughtful and understanding. Meron line, meron siya line sa book na sobrang nag-stuck sa akin. I think it's about, it's not their time. Sobrang sakit kaya. Oh, hindi ko na mahanap. Ah! Ah! Okay, nahanap ka na. Of all the boys, you're the one I would pick, sabi ni Lara Jean. But I still love Peter. I can't help it. He got here first and he just won't leave. Sorry, I like you too, John. I really do. I wish I wish we got to go to that 8th grade formal. That's sabi ni John. I don't think it was our time then. I guess it isn't now either. But one day, it will be. Reading the third book, I genuinely believe na Peter Gavinsky and Lara Jean would break up and she would meet John Ambrose McLaren, and then they will end up together, and they get married, and they have a happy life. Yun yun lang dito ko sa books, but sa movies, yung hindi pa naman nabas yung third movie. Pero it's obviously Peter. First, so at least we have the book. Here are the other two Magnus Chase books. Since you've been gone, I like the premise, but I haven't really gotten around to reading it. We have Fangirl. So brand new horror dito ko dito sa Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, kasi the girl is an online writer. Tapos yung guy here is so real. Yun yung pinaka tomatak sa akin eh. Parang hindi siya, alam mo hindi siya fictional character. Parang it's really based on a real person. Tapos the way he speaks, parang talagang totoong tao. Kaya you feel like you're there talking to him. There is one. Okay, next we have Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. Ilang beses kong inattempt na sa itong libro na to. Pero for some reason talagang hindi ko lang kung bored ako or hindi ko lang talaga siya matapos. Or parating may nangyayari and I'm going to get a little bit. I found my Mafia book. I told myself this is for research, but really I'm just interested in all criminal organizations, the history and how they work, and the brotherhood. It's Mama's Book of Gangs. So, there are different classes of criminal organizations in the whole world, or gangs. I'm going to read this for my research when I do a action love story. I found my all-time favorite romance series. <laughs> romance series. Sports. It's sports. New adult. Yun. So, ito yung pinaka-favorite na new adult series ko ever. All-time. In. <laughs> so excited. Written by L. Kennedy. It's a college-based setting. Tapos, it's in, I think, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasi, Rival nila Harvard. Eh. And yung mga bida dun sa apat na libro, there are four books, um, for hockey players. I'm <laughs> excited. Of course. And what I'm talking about is the Off Campus series. Thank you so much for Shanine. Yung nagbigay sa akin na isang book. Sa yung nagbigay sa akin na to. Kasi sobrang indie kasi ni El Kennedy na hindi siya available sa bookstores. Hindi siya available sa fully booked sa national bookstores. Hindi kailangan mo pa siya i-order from abroad. Naka-order si Shanine sa Amazon. Tapos, binigay niya sa akin yung libro. <laughs> so, I think kumorder ulit siya ng bago for herself. Eh. Tapos, akin itong collection na to. Since sobrang, ah, I love this so much. Favorite ko is si Garrett. Actually, hindi. Lahat sila gusto ko. Lahat sila. Lahat silang patapon. Pero si Gary talaga yung nagsimula na lahat. He's a man. He's a man. He's a man. Siya yung favorite ko. So, it's about... Um... 
So your series it's about this hockey player is a briar, tapos si Garrett yung captain nila. His father was a hockey legend. Tapos he has to carry it on his shoulders yung yung legacy. But he has talent naman. He's very skilled and he's smart. As in he's a history major. Just the fact that he's a history major is attractive to me because I love history. Then you meet si Hannah. Na naging girlfriend niya. Act like a man. Act like a lady. Think like a man. I discovered this through the movie. I love the movie. The first and the second. But I prefer the first. But it's funny rin yung the second. Tapos na discover ko na based on a real book siya. When I read this, sobrang funny. And it makes sense. I don't know if it was received well. But for me, it was good. And it opened my eyes to some stuff. Gusto niyo, watch the movie first and see if it's for you. Tapos kapag nagustuhan niyo, then check out the book. Have Crazy Rich Asians. Maganda yung book. I love the movie. Yung book hindi ko natapos, pero it's really shocking how accurate and spot on this is. Hindi siya masyado na-emphasize sa movie eh, pero may mga nabanggit din dito kasing details na surprising and parang, oo nga. Yeah, that's true. Mapapaganon ka na lang. Pull na ang fourth, one, two, three, fourth row. This by Owen Colfer. Owen Colfer? Eon Colfer? Basta yung nagsulat na Artemis Fowl, which I loved when I was in high school. I haven't gotten around to reading it. Obviously, naka-seal pa siya. Pero I'm planning to read it kapag nagkaroon na ulit ako ng taste for this kind of stories. Next, we have The Winner's Curse. I read a lot of good reviews, pero hindi ko pa siya na the top. I think I tried, pero may reading slump. I think ako, this is fantasy, by the way. I'm gonna read this someday. Drinking game. Drink every time I say someday in this video. I have Young World. Medyo interested din ako to read about dystopian stuff like Divergent and Hunger Games. Gusto ko din yun. Nandun ako sa face ko ng dystopian face. Kasi kanya-kanya face yun eh. Sometimes face, travel face, NA face, sci-fi face, sometimes it's a Greek face. Kakatapos ko lang sa Greek face. So, nasa face, travel face na naman ako. 